very important man in the libertarian movement, a co-founder and president of Students for Liberty, Alexander McCobin. It's a great time to be libertarian, isn't it? <laughs> Look around this room. Three years ago, when we held the first International Students for Liberty Conference, we thought the 100 people who attended was the largest gathering of libertarians that ever could possibly happen. <laughs> but today, we have 500 people registered for this conference, most who are already in this room. And we're not alone. Everyone in this room represents hundreds, if not thousands, of students on your own campuses who share our principles and just couldn't make it here this weekend. In a very meaningful sense, we are part of a libertarian generation. Our generation is socially tolerant. We've grown up to recognize the problems of imposing your own lifestyle on others through the force of government and opposing government intervention in the way people choose to live their lives. Yet at the same time, we're fiscally responsible. We understand that increasing taxation is not the key to fiscal prosperity, and that government intervention in the economy is more likely to do harm than good. Older generations may try to classify us by the bipartisan dichotomy that they understand the world, but this just reflects their misunderstanding of who we are. Whether through online organizing, grassroots entrepreneurism, or international collaboration, we are more interested in advancing liberty than being restricted by the structures that others impose upon us. But in that sense, it's an especially great time to be a young libertarian. 50 years ago, there was a dire lack of infrastructure in the libertarian movement. There were few to no organizations or opportunities to meet other libertarians to develop your ideas. There were no think tanks, no activist organizations, almost no academic centers. Nothing to support the growth of libertarianism as a philosophy. When Ludwig von Mises moved to the United States in 1940, he couldn't find a job. For years, until a few very supportive donors managed to scrape together enough money to get him a post at NYU, one of the foremost economists of the 20th century couldn't get a job because there was no support for libertarian intellectuals like him. Thankfully, we're at a different time now. There are dozens of think tanks advocating libertarian principles. There are groups like the Foundation for Economic Education and the Institute for Humane Studies supporting academic libertarians. There are activist organizations of all stripes and more opportunities for you as students to get involved in promoting liberty than even existed five years ago. Because there's an infrastructure in place for us to build upon, our generation has the opportunity to advance libertarianism in ways that prior generations couldn't have even dreamed about. And so while we're building on a movement that was started decades ago, admittedly started hundreds of years ago since our, our forefathers for this movement go back to the abolitionists, the American revolutionists, and more, but we're able to correct some of the mistakes that leaders of the libertarian movement made decades ago. Today there is no Cold War, no threat of socialism from an outside source looming over our heads to entangle us in problematic alliances. We have more understanding of the threats to individual liberty that allows us to question the extensions of government coming from both sides of the political spectrum. The strategies adopted by libertarian leaders 50 years ago need not constrict us for the next 50 years. In a certain sense, our generation then is a second wave of libertarianism, where the first one was defined by the lack of an infrastructure and the need to ally with other, with other belief systems. We no longer have that. We're able to build upon a foundation that was created for us to advance libertarianism as a philosophy that stands on its own. And as a result, as more members of our generation take leadership roles in the liberty movement, and as more people in our generation become leaders in society, we have the opportunity to transform the way we promote liberty and succeed in ways that we haven't been able to see yet. For the time being, our ideas are not mainstream. We know this. But that's not a bad thing. It's kind of exciting to be libertarians today because our ideas are still in the minority. It makes us unique. We're interesting. But most importantly, we're up and coming, and people know it. 
It's by no means certain that libertarianism is going to become widely accepted in 20 years. But whereas previous generations could only hope that would happen, we actually have the opportunity to accomplish it. It's all going to depend on you, though. You sitting here in this room are going to decide what direction society is going to take. Obviously, we can't wait for the older generations to give us a free society. We can't wait for others outside of this room to take up the fight for liberty and win the battles for us. The future is going to be determined by you sitting here in the room right now, not figuratively, but literally. This weekend, you're going to be surrounded by hundreds of the most dedicated leaders of liberty in the world. And when you leave this conference, you're going to have the opportunity to become an integral member of the fight for liberty around the globe. 20 years from now, you're going to have the chance to look back and ask yourself whether you're proud to have joined one of the most influential movements in the history of the world, or if you're going to regret being unwilling to put in the time, the energy, and the dedication to be part of what we're building right now. There are many ways for you to be a leader of liberty starting today. You can join the executive board of your campus group. You can start a nonprofit organization. Volunteer for another organization that's already in existence. And of course, if you're already experienced in running student groups, you can apply for Students for Liberty's Campus Coordinator Program. The reason I emphasize that is because the Campus Coordinator Program is an opportunity for you to not only advance liberty on your campus, but to visit campuses in your region to identify more libertarian students and build the organizations that exist there. We created the Campus Coordinator Program this past year and accepted 25 people to complete the program. Through that, hundreds of new student groups have been formed, and for next year, we want even more campus coordinators on even more campuses advancing these ideas, and you have the potential to be one of them. We're at a pivotal point in history. We have the potential to forever change the direction of the cause of liberty and create a freer future, but it's not certain. It's very possible for liberty to be lost and the work of great individuals today to be in vain. It's all going to depend on what we do. This speech is a call to arms, not violent, but intellectual. There's never been a better opportunity for the student movement to determine the future of liberty, and our generation has the opportunity to make a difference. Spend this weekend learning as much as you can from the speakers. Take the time to talk with the other students at this conference about how you run their group and how, and how they run their group to share best practices with one another. Ask people about the mistakes that you've made and if they have any help for you to try and overcome them later on. If you want to build a student movement beyond your campus, talk with anyone from SFL's leadership, campus coordinators or other, about the campus coordinator <coughs> program or offer to volunteer in any way that you can. Ultimately, this conference is about you. Take away as much as you can. But when you leave this weekend, use what you've learned to advance liberty back at your home. We're part of the most libertarian generation ever. Instead of letting the history books call us a fleeting fancy, let's take ownership of our future and create a free academy and a free society. Thank you.